Clap your hands for the Lord Jesus <laughs> and give God a mighty praise in the house of the Lord on this morning. We bless God for being here in the house of the Lord. We thank God for every privilege and opportunity that we have to come to the house of God. And I tell you, we certainly do honor our bishop, our pastor, as he enters. Let's clap our hands for the man of God. God bless you, leader. Amen. And um, just in case you didn't know, all month long has been Women's History Month. Praise God. Give the women of God a hand in the sanctuary. Praise God. We bless the Lord uh, just for this privilege and opportunity to be in the house of God and for uh, the opportunity to uh, recognize Women's History Month. We thank God for our pastor giving us uh, this space on this morning. And uh, this year we have chosen three women uh, that, ha that have uh, made great impact and contributions in the kingdom of God and certainly right here at the Upper Room Church of God in Christ. If the media department would go ahead on and cue uh, our presentation. National evangelist Tamika Douglas has always demonstrated a heart to serve and help others. After receiving Christ, the gift of servitude has led her to work diligently in her local church, on her job, in the community, and on an international level in the Church of God in Christ. Evangelist Douglas takes great pride in putting her hands to the plow and serving in various capacities. In her local church, she happily serves in the evangelism department, on the hospitality committee, and with the missionary circle as a missionary team lead. In NC Third Jurisdiction, she serves as the elect lady of evangelism. In the National Church, she serves as a national evangelist in multiple roles. For over 15 years, she passionately served as the president of the Ladies of the King's Court. And before being elevated, she served as the Young Women of Excellence Coordinator in the North Carolina Third Jurisdiction. Serving and being a help to others has always been near and dear to her heart. Through her willingness to evangelize, her experience in human services, and her willingness to partner with the community, in 2005, she founded CHARM, a community organization for girls dedicated to providing self-esteem enhancing programs that uplift, educate, and motivate. In addition, she has developed curriculum guides and conducted workshops in the areas of human trafficking, cyberbullying, social media savvy, and etiquette. In 2019, she was the recipient of the 20 Under 40 Kojic Achievers Award and the President's Volunteer Service Award. Tamika is a contributing author for the International Church of God in Christ Young Women of Excellence Curriculum Guide, a compilation produced for the National YWE Female Mentoring Program that aims to assist young ladies in identifying, cultivating, and exercising their divine calling. She's been blessed to join several mission trips to France, Belize, and Kenya. Although her service to ministry means a great deal to her, nothing brings her more joy than serving her daughter, Ariana, as her mother, serving her family, and spending time with her friends, whom she loves dearly. On this Sunday, as we celebrate women who are making an impact in the world, we proudly honor National Evangelist Tamika Douglas. Praise the Lord. Amen. Praise God. It is our privilege and our honor on behalf of our pastor, Bishop Wooden, and the women's ministry of the Upper Room Church of God in Christ to honor our evangelist, national evangelist, Tamika Douglas, with the Above Rubies Award. She was here in the 8 a.m. service, but had to leave for a speaking engagement, but her sister, Sister Tanisha, is coming to receive her award at this time. It reads, the Above Rubies Award, who can find a virtuous woman for her price is far above rubies. Proverbs 31, 10, Upper Room Church of God in Christ in honor of National Evangelist Tamika Douglas, recognized as an exceptional evangelist, serving the community, helping young girls, and for her, her diligent work in the local church, jurisdiction, and national church. 
The Bible says in Proverbs 31, 19 through 32, she lay of her hand to the spindle and her hands hold the distaff. She stretcheth out her hand to the poor, yea, she reacheth forth her hands to the needy. Presented on March 24th, 2024, Bishop Patrick L. Wooden Sr., First Lady Pamela Wooden. God bless you. Thank you so much, Sister Tanisha, for receiving this honor on uh, Sister Tamika's behalf. Let her know that we love her and we are proud of the great work that she has done in the kingdom of God. God bless you. Felice Pete is a native North Carolinian. She was born in Nash County and later left to attend college at the University of North Carolina at Chapel Hill. After graduating with a Bachelor of Science in Nursing, she worked at Duke University Hospital as a trauma medicine nurse. Then she received a Master's in Nursing from the University of North Carolina in Greensboro and a Nurse Anesthesia Certification from Wake Forest University School of Nurse Anesthesia in 2000. Felice is well known in the political arena. Her political career began as a volunteer for Wake County GOP in Raleigh, North Carolina during the 2000 campaign for President George W. Bush. Later, she became more involved by joining the Wake County Republican Women's Club. She was elected as chairman of the Ways and Means Committee and became the first vice president. She soon became the president of the Women's Club and experienced the club growing to over 200 members. Everywhere Felice went in the world, she strived to make a difference. In 2015, her family moved to Williamsburg, Virginia for her husband's new job. And in 2016, she became the vice president of Historic Triangle Republican Women in Williamsburg, Virginia, and one year later became the president. From 2010 to 2014, Felice served as the vice chairman of the Frederick Douglass Foundation NC, serving under founder Dean Nelson. She presently serves as the chair of the outreach on NC Federation Republican Women. Felice has been a faithful member of the Upper Room for over 20 years and has enjoyed participating in multiple classes designed to enhance her knowledge of the Word of God. From 2010 to 2014, she had the distinct honor of serving as the Vice President of the Upper Room Christian Academy Board under the leadership of First Lady Pamela Wooden. In 2009, she married Dr. Carl Pete and was blessed to birth her one son, Reagan Douglas Pete. With multiple notables and appointments, Felice Pete is driven by her love and passion for biblical truth. On this Sunday, as we celebrate women who are making an impact in the world, we proudly honor Mrs. Felice Pete. Woo, let's give it to Felice. Yes, yes, amen. What an honor it is to recognize um, Sister uh, Felice Pete. Certainly her works speak for itself. And um, we, it is our pleasure and honor to present to you the um, Above Rubies Award. Amen. It reads, Mrs. Felice Pete, recognized as a woman of honor and respect, whether on, her, on your job, in the political arena or in the church, you are known for your stand and courage. And one of the things that we like to do is pick out a scripture from uh, Proverbs 31. And what we selected for you is uh, verses 17 and 25, which says, she girdeth her loins with strength and strengtheneth her arms. Strength and honor are her clothing and she shall rejoice in time to come. Presented on March 24th, 2024. We're going to ask our bishop, if he will, to come and um, assist us in presenting this award. Presented by Bishop Patrick L. Wooden Sr. and First Lady Pamela Wooden. God bless you, Sister Felice. And one of the things that I remember most about you is when you first came to the church over 20 years ago, the thing that stood out about you then, I remember you being on the altar with very short hair and the smile that you had. And you have that same smile and light of the Lord to this day. May God bless you, and it is our honor to present to you the Above Rubies Award. God bless. Praise God. Amen. 
Let's give it to Sister Felice Pete. God bless her. Next, one of the things that um, is near and dear to our heart is the shoulders upon which we stand. Um, the mothers in the church, there are many uh, who, who were here when I came 36 years ago, uh, and they were, they were women who were working hard and serving in the church. Uh, and so tonight, today, we also recognize uh, one of the mothers who was here back then uh, working and serving and leading the way, uh, and she is certainly worthy of the honor. Please roll the tape at this time. Mother Patty Morgan, a faithful servant of Jesus Christ, was born and raised in Raleigh, North Carolina. Her entire life has been filled with service to her family, her job, and her church. Mother Morgan is the oldest of three children and spent her younger years caring for her two brothers. At an early age, she found the love of her life and has spent 66 years growing up with Chairman Joseph Morgan. In speaking with Chairman Morgan about his wife, his sentiments are as follows. My wife has been my friend, my wife, my confidant, and the best part of my life for all 66 years. She has always been a good mother and cared for me and our home. Mother Morgan has worked diligently in raising three children and is thrilled to have seven grands and three great-grands. As the matriarch of her family, her children and her husband indeed call her blessed. Mother Patty Morgan has lived willingly, putting her hands on the plow. After joining the upper room, Mother Patty Morgan found herself passionately serving. She was placed over the kitchen and enjoyed cooking and baking for the saints. She served with the food bank and enjoyed the opportunity to bless others. Mother Morgan was a singer in the church choir and enjoyed tremendously singing with the inspirational Yabarets, a group formed by district missionary Margaret Mose. Using her gifts for the glory of God was all that she wanted to do. After years of giving her service as a baker at Wake Med and working for DMV, Mother Morgan retired in the year of 2000. Retirement on her secular job was not retirement for serving the Lord, for she continued to make a difference in the lives of those that she came in contact with. Mother Patty Morgan currently serves as the Vice President of the Upper Room Mothers Board and is well respected among mothers and the younger generation. She is well known for her comforting and encouraging spirit. Her warm smile and warm greeting brighten the hearts of many. Mother Morgan loves going to church, she loves working, and most of all, she loves serving the Lord. And as the Upper Room Church of God in Christ, it gives us great joy to honor Mother Patty Morgan. Come on, let's give it to Mother Morgan, yes. Amen, amen, amen. When we came here 36 years ago, Mother Patty Morgan was on the front lines, leading, serving. What a great encourager she has been down through the years. A woman of God who is endowed with wisdom, who loves the Lord, loves her husband, the chairman of the board, loves her pastor and her first lady. Oh, there were many times that she cooked for us, opened the doors of a home for us to come. Oh, she has been a mother in Zion down through the years. Her award reads, Mother Patty Morgan, recognized as a mother in Zion, who has been a consistent example of a wife, mother, and a holy woman, down, woman of God down through the years. Uh, the scriptures from Proverbs 31 that we chose for you are verses 11 and 12, which reads, The heart of her husband doth safely trust in her, so that he shall have no need of spoil. She will do him good and not evil all the days of her life. Presented on March 24, 2024, Bishop Patrick L. Wooden Sr., First Lady Pamela Wooden. Mother Morgan, it is our pleasure and honor to present to you this award on today, the Above Rubies Award. God bless you, and we love you. God bless you. Out of heaven.
heavy, so I'm going to give it to the deacon. <laughs> Amen. <laughs> God bless you. God bless you. God bless you. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Bishop, would you like to say anything? Yes. Just congratulations to both of the, all three of the honorees today. Uh, Sister Tamika Douglas, what a wonderful worker for Christ she is. And Sister Felice Peach, she's been a difference maker ever since she's been a part of our church. Elder John Amanchuku asked me, he says, what kind of woman was Mother Morgan when you first met her? I said to him, I said, time did not sanctify her. Her salvation sanctified her because she's been sweet down through the years. We honor them today. God bless. Amen. And uh, let's give the women's department a big hand. They're the ones. First lady in, came up with this idea to honor these wonderful women of God. Congratulations, baby. Thank you, sir. God bless you and happy Women's History Month to all of the women of Upper Room Church of God in Christ. God bless you.